let's just ponder a little bit Dust 2. I mean, the favourites going going into Dust 2, of course, would always be Mouse Wars. Um, but London Conspiracy decided to, to pick Dust 2. Um, for some unknown reason, maybe some, some confidence uh, on it. I think actually they beat them on it last time or something, so... Some misguided confidence um, or something like that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because the result was was going to be the same. It's Mouse Sports with uh, one map lead. And this is their map. So technically, uh, well, we could probably put them as favourites to, to take this one. Um, so, you know, it's kind of weird. But uh, London Conspiracy do get the knife round. And they're probably going to be wanting to switch. Yes, they are indeed. So... They're going to be starting on the CT side. It is a CT sided map. Um, it's kind of like 9 6, 10 5, I suppose. Um, another quite long, a long range map. So, orbs do come into play along, around that mid area. You know, so having, having somebody like Chris J and Alu who are on form clearly with their orbs is going to be a, a very key factor indeed. And Polly, who hasn't really been stepping up that much, needs to in this map for me. Another little quick bit of information apparently, Polly is in game leader, and Mac has actually played with this side before. So, uh, yeah, it's another little bit of information. But we are live into the pistol round. This is the second map once again of this best of three. Mouse Sports almost on the verge of closing it in two. Or a London Conspiracy going to see us to that third map? We're about to find out. We are. But Mouse Sports looking like they're hungry for this B site. It's actually a bait. Chris J and KZY go to B. Legge, Alu and Tabson all rushing in A. They're going to get this bomb down. And now the question is, can the CTs retake the site? There's the first frag from Alu, and he will fall down from Mac, though. Ah, nice play from Chris J. Getting around the back side, shooting Polly in the back. And this is looking pretty bad right now for London Conspiracy. Gotta be honest, Mouse Sports have picked up another two. It's all down on Rain. And he is pushing from Car. He gets dropped with ease. And they only picked up the one kill in the process. Very nice tactics from Mouse Sports. I love that. Yeah, yeah, me too, man. That worked like a treat as well. London Conspiracy absolutely bought that B. B push and uh, the the A push was was able to come in very very easily and another factor was because they played it very passively on A they actually had one member on the uh, just on uh, the car so that's a long range kind of choke point I mean USPS yes is better at long range but when you've got five terrorists all running out you kind of do leave it a bit open so their setup not really working for them and of course Mouse Sports tactically very good indeed so now they're going to be brought up and they would be expected now to convert that to a three round lead and uh, are they just going to carry on run with the momentum and the confidence they gathered on dust too or uh, are london conspiracy going to be able to put an, put an end to it and you know kind of stop the train as it were i mean for now it's not really uh indicative of, of that question because it's just ecos of course but uh, as soon as we do get into the buy round um, it's going to be interesting i think yeah that's really where you expect london conspiracy to uh to explode if they're going to do so Rubino and also Map, the last two players remaining have picked up a kill there on Tabson. But they're going to have to do better than this. Another kill, they'll probably be quite happy with. But if they all go down and that bomb gets planted, not quite the case. Mac has been spotted there from KZY. Again, he has that beautiful purple sandstorm to it. I love that <laughs> weapon. Alu, though, is going to take the frag down on Rubino. And now the bomb's being planted from Chris J. Just three hit points remaining on Mac. And he's about to get shot in oh, the backside. Get knife. Knife. Yes, knife. <laughs> From the Karen bit, sit down, and it is going to be the 2 0. Only lost a player in the process, so very nice round for our sports. Indeed, and you know, there is actually uh, a reason to that knife, it's actually sensible because you get a thousand dollars return on that. Exactly. So now he's, he's loaded, he's got plenty of cash. And do you know what? I might just buy you that galley, I bet it's worth nothing. That's I've got 16p on my Steam wallet. If I'll get it, I'll buy it for you. Oh man, good guy, John. And look at this, Max is going to run through mid, and he gets two for his troubles. And it wasn't really trouble at all, he caught them completely off guard. And look at this, four on two now for London Conspiracy. They don't actually have the guns, Fabina's going to be able to get the AK, yes. But uh, now Chris Jane and Alu, the two men you certainly want in a scenario like this, are going to be tasked with uh, coming back and trying to get this round. But Skirk does take down Alu. And now Chris J is in a one versus two. Oh, just got nearly missed there, but Skirk does find the frag. And that's a fantastic round to win, going going the way of London Conspiracy. And that was the round before they were going to buy anyway. So the uh, the things that, that that will do to their economy cannot be understated. And of course, confidence as well. And, uh, well, more importantly as well, the economy of their opponents, Mouse Sports, having to rebuy. And that is what they're going to do. But it's, it's a bit of a forced buy here. So a great round from the Norwegians.
yeah, crucial round for the conspiracy. Give them some confidence, or they'll put some adrenaline in their veins. They'll be surging right now. But the important thing is they have to keep this up. They have the first frag. Chris J gets dropped, trying to peek round into A from the door. And that will be a comfortable frag from Skirk, who had a really quiet first map. So if he can step things up, London Conspiracy can definitely take this onto Overpass, which is the third deciding map if we need it. There's Rabino from Vents. We'll get one. Very nearly gets the second. There we go on the second time of asking. And now down to a 5v2, Jono. This should be the two all on cash. So nice start here from London Conspiracy after a very shaky foundation. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so a really good answer from them. Before the, the eco rounds were up, they got the round on the board, and it looks to me like they're gonna they're gonna convert that into a consecutive round win. Nicely done. They don't lose one member, so very very strong in that round. Um, and as you said, we're all square two all, and mouse spots are not gonna be able to buy. No chance in hell. They're gonna be totally eco. So uh, it's just a question of whether they want to take it slowly or just go for a straight rush onto a site, and uh, and whether the London conspiracy are up to the challenge of holding that. Of course, generally speaking, they would be expected to. But we've seen uh, some slip-ups by them on those too, actually. So, yeah, I wouldn't rule my uh, spots out. Have a look at this, though, John. All four players are going to be pushing B right now from our sports. I should say four out of five. Tapson is still alive in mid. Again, he's causing interference. They are going to get this bomb planted, more than likely. Skirk is going to try the crossfire. He does get one. And there we go, the second frag goes down. He's hungry for his third, he will take that. It's all on Alu, but they got the bomb oh. plant. So that's actually not a bad round, considering for Mouse Sports. And uh, it was interesting, they only left the one player directly on A, and kind of stacked mid more. Yeah, um, but like you say, the really important thing there for Mouse Sports, bomb down, and they didn't buy a single thing, if I'm, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. So uh, that's a, a very, very good result from a full eco to get the bomb down. Is always uh, it's kind of mission accomplished to be honest. You wouldn't expect to win the round, and they got one frag as well. So good stuff from them. And you know, somebody that we called out. Uh, well, you called him out, you meanie, but uh, it was Skirk. He said he wasn't performing, and you absolutely, absolutely spot on. He wasn't, but he seems to be now. He really has stepped up in the last few rounds, and he, you can just tell by the way he's moving around, the way he's aiming, that he's feeling, he's feeling it a lot more. And uh, certainly a good sign for Lenny Conspiracy as they, they are now winning by the way, it's 3-2. It's a buy round for both sides, so another important round. If Lenny Conspiracy can get this, then they, well, it, it would it would indicate to me that they're starting to gather a bit of momentum and, you know, starting starting to build a solid CT side here. But actually, Chris J has uh, dashed the hope of rain in defending the B-bomb side and just shoots him through the smoke. So, fantastic start by them. What? Max is answered back though, through the smoke again. Yeah, that was through thick smoke. Just smashed him in the face. So, oh, it's going to be one frag apiece. London Conspiracy with 3-2 advantage in terms of rounds. And it's going to have to see how long that lasts for. Legia next to the bomb. 43 seconds to go. Skirk has spotted Alu, but comes out second best. And that's what we're talking about. The Skirk from a couple nights ago would have landed that shot. He's still top fragging for his team at 7-3. and three, Looking to push on B. Rubino is on the bomb site along with Mac. Mac gets completely decimated. And now Rubino has a really horrific prospect ahead of him. Four players will be pushing him any second now. Two of which will be from the left-hand side. He's taken down KZY. He wants the second frag as well. Legia says no. Takes him out. Plants the bomb as well. And now it's on Polly, who's yet to score a single frag so far on cash. 1v3, Jono. Don't really fancy his chances, if I'm being honest. No, the money's very, very good, actually, for the uh, CTs. So there's uh, half, a, half a reason to go for this one on three. But like you say, it's not very likely, is it? He just needs to get going. He needs to get some frags on the score chart for him. And this is a good opportunity for him to do that. But it's not going to get anything. It's Ledger just shoots him. Um, easy peasy. Rabino did a great job, by the way, um, staying alive so long on B, but by that point it was just Polly left, so uh, a little irrelevant point, but I, I do I do think he did a very good job staying alive so long. They need to get the one frag, but Mouse Sports with a, a good round overall. They, they tie the scoreline at 3 all now, and this being a CT sided map, and London Conspiracy picking up, was, it might have been 2 or 3 in a row. Um, them losing that round will be a big disappointment for them. And it all, all stemmed from Skirk, didn't it? Mid getting dropped. So maybe I should just stop praising people altogether. Uh, I, was, I was getting a bit excited there because Rubino had a great spawn. And he's pushing super aggressive through mid. I thought he was going to try something special through the smoke. But instead, better safe than sorry. 
He's going to just be lurking around mid right now. And again, another slow approach from our sports. Looking for that pick, which to be fair to them, they have got a bunch of time so far in this game. Couple of boosts up as well. Alu and Tabson. Chris J still back towards the spawn with an AWP, as you'd expect. And he did call this before, that Cash is still one of those maps where AWPs really can rain out supreme. You've got a lot of long-range areas. Rubino flashes, peaks, probably should have had that kill. I'd imagine he'd be quite disappointed with that outcome. And still, with 40 seconds to go, all 10 players are alive. Yeah, but uh, crucially for our sports, they've got access to the middle now. They've games oh they haven't sorry radar's playing tricks they did i'm pretty sure pushed through but they seem to have backed on out actually chris J, chris J is going to challenge mac coming off a lot worse than that exchange he goes down four plays five and a is going to be the play rain jumps up on the barrel gets two gorgeous stuff from him but thompson and ledger both get a frag each and bring it to a two on three and the bomb has been planted and ledger takes down skirk who was just running at him trying to catch him off guard having him uh being on the site, having just planted, I, I should say. And uh, we're back to a two on two now. Next frag, crucial. Polly might just catch Tabson off, off guard here. Misses a sitter. He misses the shot and gets taken out by Tabson. Now, Rubino is the last man remaining. Yes, Ledger is very low health, but the bomb timer has gone so far. It's not going to happen for him. Mousebots have done it. Polly missing another, um, another shot that he, quite frankly, should never miss. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that pretty much sums up his cash in a nutshell. Zero for two. five. He, he was not following yeah. Dusty either, and he's That's yet fair. to get a frag. That's a really fair point that you make, but especially on this map, he, he's zero and five. He's got the one assist. Should have had that AWP shot, and again, if he lands that, which I they remember would have saying with Dust2, they probably would have got the round indeed. So... Oh, when your AWP is not performing, that's where things really begin to get hairy for you. Rubino, this is what I wanted to see him do last round. He's pushed very aggressively into mid. And this isn't a bad position to hold. The smoke to his right-hand side. And if he plays his guards right, he could have a bucket full of frags. Chris J has been tagged down heavily to his left-hand side. There's the drop down from Tamsin, but he gets mullered from Mac. And that's going to be a difficult one for them to close out. Mac with a beautiful M4 headshot on the jump up, on the boost. Rubino still in mid, they're not going to expect that position from him. He's got one, very nearly picks up his second. This is much, much better from London Conspiracy. When they play aggressive like this, it seems to work for them. Certainly, in this round it has, definitely, yeah. And it is a lot better, isn't it? It's a completely different setup. And even Skirk pushing through that door, getting the information there. The, uh, the aggression is a very, very good idea. Because reconnaissance mission, if you like, you get the information, you see where they were, where they were going, and you, you, you guess where, they, where they're going to end up. But uh, plenty of time on the clock, so they shouldn't over-rotate. They're well set up to defend A. They've got two members there. Of course, every single member still remaining for them. And Matt gets his third. Lovely stuff from him. He's done very good work in this round uh, over towards that middle area. Very pushed up, very aggressive, like we said. And yet, yeah, they, they, they might just have found the solution, just be aggressive. Of course, Mouse Sports will, uh, will adapt to that. Um, but then London Conspiracy will have to readapt, if you like. So, mind games going on already. But London Conspiracy definitely found the answer in that round. And, and they certainly will close it out. As KZY is just going to be sitting in spawn. Mission um, saved. So, it's just going to try and save that orc. Which is, of course, worth 4750. So, it's an expensive gun. And a lot of value to be saved. And he does save it. So a uh, nice little objective completed, if you like. But we are all square. 4-4. Four, four. An exciting game so far. And it's the kind of weapon as well that if he gives that across to Chris J, which he has, Chris J can potentially pick up a few kills here. So even though it's a, a force buy-up of CZs and a couple of Galils, it's still quite a potent mix with Chris J on the orb. He has had a quite quiet cash. 4 and 5 so far. I have no doubts that will change as time goes on. But remember, you know, Cash is certainly slightly favoured towards CT, so if the T's are going tit for tat, round for round, they're going to be pretty happy going into half time with Mouse Sports. It's really the onus is on London Conspiracy to start putting a, a bit of momentum together and putting some rounds together here. Mouse Sports are looking to push A aggressively, now double back towards mid. And Legia on B could certainly do some work right now. And this is how Mouse Sports have uh, approached every single round. Legia, though, gets picked up from the AWP. And that's going to tell Mouse Sports that maybe B isn't an option after all. And yet, they're re-rotating back to A once again. Chris J taking point with the AWP. Is he able to pull off something special here? I'm not too sure, Jono, but they've got 45 seconds to make something happen. 
Yeah, which is a lot of time, but um, they've already pushed in, so they're going to be just fine with the time, but they're not going to be fine with the entrance as Skirk slams that door shut with two brilliant fragments. Reigns also got one for himself as well. Tavison's going to get one in the middle, but uh, it should not matter as Rabina's going to push through and end his life also. So that is uh, another round going away of London Conspiracy. That's now two on the trot. And uh, that force buy, the potent mix as you called it, is, uh, well, it just wasn't effective in that round. And as a result, they're going to be completely broke. So no guns being bought up. Times is actually an ledger going for the CZs. But uh, I wouldn't have even advised that because the money really has run out for them. So expect 6-4. Uh, and you met, you raised a fantastic point, And that is, it's a CT side of map. And for me, mouse sports are a, a CT map, a uh, CT team, sorry. So you would expect them to be very strong on their CT side. So London Conspiracy here are the ones charged with getting more rounds. And look at this, this B play might just work out as Tabson does take down Mac. He got the dink off. He managed to get the second shot as well. And now if he could take down Polly on the side, this would open it up massively. Polly, the guy who's not really performing, he's managing to stay alive somehow. And he gets knifed. That's just not... <laughs> Not, not ideal, but uh, a two on one as Rubina did great work in the checkered area and, and they've got the bomb. So expect them to get this round. If they don't, it's going to be it's going to be counted as an error as they should be winning two on ones. And it's the kind of thing they they've been struggling with on the previous map. Um, oh, Samson's going for the cheeky wall bang. And uh, well, Rain's not even going to risk it. <laughs> He's not going to expose himself at all. But 40 seconds on the clock. And, and yeah, my sports should not win this round. Thing is, the Atlanta Conspiracy have made so many errors on Dust2 in these kind of positions. That's what I'm worried about, yeah. I'm not so sure. This They could still lose this round. They're in good positions, though. That's certainly a tick in the box. Hapton misses the shot. Although it would have been a very difficult one to land, in fairness. And the Conspiracy do pick that one up. Wow. Okay. So, there's still life left in them. But they're going to have to win a bunch more rounds here on the CT side. And that wasn't a great round. I mean, that was a full eco, like flush eco from our yeah. spots. Two CZs, no nades, no no cable, no nothing. And they got into the B bomb site and they brought it to a two on one. Um, so, um, not a great sign, you know, not a great round. Um, if you look at the bigger picture, then the conspiracy have been much stronger on the other round. So, it could just be a one off bad round for them if they can convert a few more rounds now. And, you know, they'll be aiming for 11 4, of course. I mean, you want all the rounds you can get up, but a, a more reasonable expectation would be 10 5. And if they can get that, I'm not sure they'll be reasonably happy. But a one for one, as Rain was very exposed there, he was kind of in no man's land. And he was only able to get the one frag. But Mac does not answer back as Legia was able to get that frag. But Skirk's still on the bomb site. He's got two. Does get taken down finally. He was able to prolong the bomb plant though. And KZY is still going to bait it out. He's going to fake it. So Alu, KZY, can they do this? Or can R Rabina be the hero for his side? Get spotted. But he's still alive. Still going. And he knows where Alu is now. Cannot get the shot though. As Alu does seal the deal for his team. And that's a fifth round on the board for them. And it's tit for tat again. And uh, actually the money is, isn't great on the conspiracy. So the... The aim that uh, I think they might have of 10-5 might not happen here. Yeah, Dream is potentially dead. But who knows? Maybe they can go on a tear in the next four in a row. We've seen crazy things happen. Fast push in once again from Rubino. Alu is also thinking about this one, but no, he's just actually looking in towards the A main. Mac has pushed up with Rubino. They have four players stacked in mid right now. In fact, five if you count Rain, who's more opting for that A side and so far it's paying out for them no quick B rush from the side of now sports and this is going to be another slow tense round you've got to feel from the Germans they've done this time and time and time again and they got five rounds so if it ain't broke don't fix it leggy going through onto the door side Tabson, KZY, Alu, Chris J all moving into main A and they're going to be met with Skirk and Rain. Skirk has been playing a lot better this map. 12 and 6, top fragging overall on the entire server. Grenade comes in from Rain. That's going to do some damage to Chris J, who's down to 34 hit points now. And with 40 seconds to go, they're going to have to push pretty soon. They're going to have to commit. Rain gets one, just sees the top of the head of Chris J, and will take that clean off his shoulders. Legia moving in. Skirk gets the upper hand. Alu did get a frag just beforehand. And now Tabson seeing the dead body of his comrade in front of him he's gonna push in he does get the upper hand on skirk somehow i did not expect that to happen down to a three on three and with 18 seconds to go this bomb should be planted look at max positioning though he's in prime position to strike cz 
will come good onto Tabson. He wasn't able to stop the bomb plant, though. And therefore, Mouse still have every opportunity to clutch this round, but it's not going to happen. Polly and Mac both chime in. And it will be the 7-5. And that was a pretty good round, considering a couple of them had CZs. Absolutely. And uh, if you consider the fact they lost the bomb site, so it was effectively 3-on-3, three three, they won that flawlessly. They didn't lose one member on the, on the retake. So, fantastic retake. Good rotate. And another motorbike has gone by. <laughs> Sorry about that. I live near a, a main road. It, one went by the other day. And I, I actually watched that back. It was, it was kind of funny, I think. But uh, but I'm sorry nonetheless. London Conspiracy now. Seven rounds to Mouse Sports 5. As I said, a reasonable um, kind of hope and aim, if you like, for London Conspiracy would probably be 10 rounds here on the CT side. So, you know, they're expected to get this one being being an eco from the Germans. Um, and after that, just two more. So they could they could still be on track. And let's not forget, this is the second map. Mouse Sports having already picked up one. So they, well, they have to get on track, otherwise they're, they're out of the tournament. That's exactly it. They have to start bringing it back right now and converting these rounds. They have the advantage. Skirt gets two. Really has stepped up his game. KZY comes back to Vino as well. And it will be a three on two. Grenade so nearly finishes off Tabson. Will they get another bomb plant? They will indeed. And that's something that really... I feel London Conspiracy should have stopped from happening. They do get the round, but they lose two players in the eco and a bomb plant. So again, Mouse Sports doing work, even when they're eco. Yeah, um, every time they've gone A on an eco, they've had that bomb planted. So a lot of success, actually, on, on that B-bomb site. But like I said, the retake has been the strong factor. That's been the key thing for, for the Norwegians to win the rounds. So I suppose... Um, it's not all bad as they are racking up the rounds now and the money actually is not great because yeah as you say they do keep chipping away at the numbers the, the personnel do start depleting and the money does not build if, if that happens if you're getting two or three frags every single round on a bomb plant um, then they're gonna have to keep rebuying guns as Alu finds what? Rain Rain missed a lot of shots there Alu's on 28 a slightly weird early exchange but it's gone the way of the Germans and uh, now let's see if, uh, well, oh, finally almost, actually, London Conspiracy have won a lot of rounds in a row. Let's see if Mouse Sports can finally get another on their side. Four versus five, you might expect them to do just that. And, uh, well, they're going to be taking their time, no surprise there. Uh, nice, slow, methodical play. But they're going to be doing something they haven't done a lot, and that's going to be uh, going towards that B area. But this mid hold has always been strong, they just haven't been pushing it. Mac is, uh, well, it comes through one frag, but Alu actually does return, and the B bombsite play is very much on, as they've made very good headway, but Rubino is still in checkered. Does get taken oh. out by Chris J, and they didn't realise where he was, so he was able to take down Rubino as well, and Legia seals the deal, finishes off the job. Headshot Skirk, and that puts them, uh, well, nearly, that puts them in contention to bring this to the closest possible scoreline, of, with it being probably a 10-5-9-6 CT map. London Conspiracy will not be happy with that, so they need this round. Oh, Chris J really stepping up. He's, he's not had a great map, 6 and 10. He's certainly not a position he wants to be in. Although I would imagine on CT side, when he can camp in an area and just mow people down, that will change. Regardless, though, fast push in from the CTs. Rabino, once again, he's done this so many times already on the defense side, and he will be punished this time. One of the first times, actually, he's been punished for the aggressive pushes. Rain's in a good position, up on the boost. Is he going to see Alu? I don't think he has. I think Alu slipped past right there. And Skirk gets taken down as a result. They have pushed through mid. There, Rain finally gets his man. Is it too little too late? Chris J misses a sitter. I expect him to land that one. Does get the second frag. And that's going to be Mac, who was peeking from the car. But Rain is still alive. They know where he is. He's been spotted. And Chris J going to go for that plant as the smoke has descended. So, bombs down. Three versus two. Oh, what a shot from Chris J into mid. He's going to get that last one as well. And indeed, it will be an 8-7 scoreline. And Mouse Sports now switching to CT side. You have to favour them to pick up this map. You do, quite simply. Um, is there a way to dress it up? Possibly. We might see a very good T side from London Conspiracy. And, and they do have their leader. So, it's well, their in-game leader, only anyway, Polly. Is, is still uh, he's, he's on the server. We were talking about PRB not being here, but uh, I think PRB definitely has a hand in the tactics and he's one of the older, more veteran players. So um, that will factor them. You know, on Ontario's side, you need that. But Polly's still here. He's not hitting many shots, though. He's on five to nine. So that's another negative factor going against London Conspiracy. But let's focus on the positives here for them. Skirk, Rubino, Mac and Rain. Only five frags separating them. They've all stepped up, especially Skirk over on the A-bomb site. 
But uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of the bigger picture, you would have to favor mouse sports. Yeah, and I agree with you that I think mouse sports CT side is going to be far superior to their T side because players like Chris J are going to be in their element just camping somewhere with an orc watching the cross. And uh, it's going to be difficult for uh, London Conspiracy to push into sites, especially when you're a mixed team. It's, I always find it's more difficult on T side because your strats aren't quite locked down. There's always a player who's not entirely sure what's going on. Even if Mac has played with them before, if PRB's in here, their, their unity and their cohesion is going to be so much higher. So I do question if they're going to go for more kind of lone wolf tactic and allow Mac to kind of do his own thing, or if they are going to go for these these set kind of tactics and, and rushing on to BRA or maybe even through the mid. Regardless, though, we are in the 16th round and we're about to find out all the answers to the questions that we just posed. Absolutely. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to say that. So a big, big welcome to everybody just tuning in. This is the second half of the second map in this best of three. Mouse Sports with one, as you can see on your screen at the bottom. And here comes a very fast, easy, uh, simple strat from London Conspiracy. But Legia and Tabson say there's no chance you're getting into the B-bomb site. No way, Jose. And they get uh, a full house of frags. Uh, not the start, not the start that Norwegians were looking for. Yeah, here's us saying, oh, all the answers will be given to us. Well, there's the answer. Mouse Sports just slapping London Conspiracy right in the face, and they have actually forced the buy up here. Upgraded pistols with armor. So they're really committing to this round. Well, let's see if it pays out for them. Alu and KZ White seem to be the A defenders from Mouse Sports. Chris J, of course, is going to be in mid. Where else would he be with that scout? And then, of course, Tamsin and Legia. I'm going to be occupying on B. Polly is there. He's in the smoke, and he could very well Ooh. be a pain in the backside. They don't have the bomb just yet. It's been dropped around mid, or just uh, Look at Tabson and Polly. <laughs> yeah, the smoke's going to fade. It really is. Who's going to blink first? And it's going to be Tabson who gets him in the back. Max now rushing through with the CZ. Does get the frag, and now the bomb is coming in onto main. It's going to be Alu versus three, and he goes down instantly. This is already turning into a phenomenal round for London Conspiracy. They've picked up two kills. They're going to get the bomb down soon, you'd have to imagine. They have weapons as well. They could actually clutch this one. They've gone and made it a two versus three. Leggy has only got 27 hit points remaining. And this is a must-win round for London Conspiracy. They can't afford to let this one through as well. Here we go. Matt gets another CZ kill. He's going to be attacked from behind. <laughs> Tapson finally gets him with a CZ of his own. And that's all down to this. 1v2, he gets another kill. He's not going to pull this off. He's only got four bullets. Surely he's not going to close this round. Yes, no, he's well not. played. Rubino stands firm, stands tall. And that is another eco win from London Conspiracy. That's their second or third today, I think. Yeah, what a fantastic answer. And I say well played there because uh, I'm singling out Rubino. Probably should have, should have waited before saying that. But uh, I just had to because he, he played so well in that round. He, on the, the afterplant scenario, I mean, he got one for the entrance, I believe, which helped him get onto that A site. And then he played played on quad on quad barrels. And he, he flashed out and he took down Chris J in the middle. And it, actually, here comes a fast push now from Mouse Sports. So they, they say anything you can do, we can do better. And they open up. But, uh, I mean, still favoured... Our London Conspiracy, they've still got the guns as long as they, as long as they can play their cards right. But Chris Jay's doing great damage onto Mac in that mid. He's only on 8 HP now. <laughs> Surely not another eco round one. As, uh, well, Rubino, oh, look at that. Skirt gets two. He, he knew what just what they were up to because they do it every round themselves. <laughs> Go aggressive middle. So he was able to take them all out. Now Tabson is the last man remaining. So, yeah, just a, a little recap on what Rubino did. He got the one. Um, onto Chris J after a nice pot flash and then the one-on-one -on -one scenario he played it very very well indeed using the battle using the sound and he got the frag so uh, he enabled them to win that round and London Conspiracy did just win another round so there they are now on 10 so they are leading this game Mouse Sports with another eco expect LC to get 11 and from there we could actually have quite a tight game on our hands we could I still would fancy Mouse Sports to bring this back in their favour, but definitely if one Conspiracy do win this round as you'd expect them to, Grenade, I have to feel it's going to be very close to Alu, he did back away saw that one coming and actually, I think that was a double nade onto his position so, he has drawn out two grenades, nice little amount of damage has been exchanged there, Polly is down to seven, does get finished off by Legia, he is an animal with that CZ, there's rain though, long range supreme with the M4 
That means it's just KZY on a site. He is being encircled. He's been dropped anyway. Mac was coming through from mid. Other three players through main. Leggy is on the car. Can he pull off another CZ frag? No, he can't. And that's going to be a four versus two in favor of London Conspiracy. Bomb will be planted. And this has got 11-8 written all over it. So, yeah, game well and truly on. Absolutely. And the round following this one is another really big one. If Mousebots lose it, then they... Uh... They might just start to get worried, you know. But if, if they win it in a, in a very good fashion, you know, the CT, they just completely lock it down, then uh, it might just be the, the case that London Conspiracy really struggle to pick up by rounds. But they've answered back with an eco round victory and they've converted it very nicely indeed. So that's going to see them on 11. And as uh, as, we keep, as we keep saying, we do hope we get that grand slam finish. We hope it's a close game. But uh, just they're trying to save the guns at the moment. Ali does spot one out. It doesn't get him, so he's going to be taken down. He was only saving a P2000, so not really anything to worry about. And do you know what, Mez? I know it's a negative point, but I've got to call out um, Polly once again. I know he's one on two there, but he had the range to start with. He was being challenged by Ledger with the CZ, and he, he got taken down, but he, he missed an easy shot again with that AK, and he, he paid the price by dying. So for me, he still hasn't stepped up, and it's, it's a factor that might come back to haunt LC as they are pushing fast on A, so let's see, let's see if Mousebot's defence is up to snuff here. Yep, flashbang, snowstorm descends once again, it's Bolly the man in question, and he's stepping up, KZY as well, has to be said, he's performing poorly, 3 for 13, however, the A side is being completely blitzkrieg, kills going down left, right and centre, it's down to a 3 on 2, it's in favour of Mouse Sports, but for how long, as a grenade lands on top of one of their players, Polly, 96 HP remains, he's been tickled so far but he's in the wrong place entirely and Leggy will jump up get that frag gets the second he really has been performing sublimely and that will be 11-9 now the scoreline look at that on mouse 19 Leggy 19 tabs and then KZ1-3 oh, wow, yeah. I didn't even notice that that's a good point so maybe we should have a go at him as well KZY and Polly uh, both not performing whatsoever it's effectively a 4v4 at this point <laughs> yeah, it kind of is isn't it it's uh, you know, weird, weird dynamic. So it's almost even because both teams are somebody that's really not performing. But, but hey ho, little, little, little things there to be picked up on. But London Conspiracy still with the lead, but only a two-round cushion now. And Mouse Sports, the way they won that round, the way they roof beat up, was uh, very convincing indeed. As Skirk misses that shot, Ledger most certainly should have died. And actually, look at his health. We could almost count him dead at this point. He's only one HP. Can Skirk get the frag on Tabs? And yes, he can. So he's done fantastic damage already and he does get one. But Chris J's answered back immediately over on the B-bomb site area. And guess who goes down? It's Polly. But uh, uh, I won't be too cynical. Well, I'll try not to be. But Chris J with another flick shot. Nicely done by him. And do, do they have the entrance on this A-bomb site? They don't quite. But Rain takes down Chris J and now Ledger with the one HP. They just need to throw flashbang at him. But he's still doing work. He takes down Rain. And, uh, well, quite frankly, he should have been dead at the start of the round. So Skirk's going to be kicking himself with, with how the way this has turned out, especially as Ledger did just get that frag. But they're going to be splitting up the A-bomb site. Alu is pincered in here. Let's see if they can take him down and, uh, and plant, obviously, and win the round. Alu, he's the man to watch here. He can stay alive, and he does take down Skirk. He gets the second. <laughs> Alu, he is the man that most certainly can, and he's showing us just why there. Pincered down. Um, being, being, you know, shot at from both angles and he gets both frags, so credit to him. And uh, Mouse Spot's now on 10 rounds and, and look at this, London Conspiracy going to be ecoing, so expect an even scoreline at 11-11. Yep, 11-11 and Mouse Sport's on CT side will be fancying this one. We have seen eco rounds though, one by London Conspiracy, so let's hold the phone, let's not count them out just yet. It's going to be difficult, but we've seen them do it before. Are they going to go ahead and do it one more time just for the just for the record? Chris J, though, is going to pick up the first kill on Skirk. And that's definitely going to put them in a whole other level of a bad position. They have pushed through a main, though. All three members of Polly, Rubino, and Rain have pushed through, but two of them are going to get dropped. Make that all of them, in fact, in Mouse Sports. With a clean sweep, only Ali was heavy tagged. And indeed, it will be 11-11. Indeed it will. Both teams bought up. So uh, a big, big round. All square on the uh, scoreboard. All square with equipment. Um, I suppose you could argue that the CT side is easier. But apart from that, it's pretty much even playing field here. And both teams will want to take this round. Mouse sports because that will just propel them 
on this CT side that has been so strong so far. London Conspiracy want to put an end to that momentum that's been gathered. And here comes the push on A very fast as well. It's been pushing straight in here. And they get two early frags. Now it's just Alu left alone on this bomb site. Can't get anything done. It is Polly to take him down, but Ledger comes in with two frags of his own. But look at this, Rubino is waiting patiently, and he does get the frag. He is rewarded for his patience. Tabson does fall down. Now, Ledger, he's already got two. Make that a third in this round, but that's all he's going to get. I was getting, getting a little bit worried there he was going to do the ace, but he didn't. And London Conspiracy, with that fast A take, make it work for them. And they do pick up a, a big round for them. And Mouse Sports money is, is, is kind of weird, actually, but... Uh, I can, t I can tell you with, with actually confidence that if they don't win this round, they will be eco. So this round worth two quite possibly for the Norwegians. So another big round. Man, Leggy was so unlucky there. He switched to his smoke. He's trying to get the smoke down and maybe enforce the defuse and get players involved. As I'm speaking, though, a couple of kills have gone down. Make that three in favor of Mouse Sports. They come out ahead with the one player. But Leggy switched to his smoke just as he was peaked. And it was so unfortunate. He could have pulled off a great clutch. It would have been a 1v5 clutch, I think, actually. But... That was last round. Got to get our heads back into the game. Mouse Sports have the player advantage. They have the positional advantage. And you would fancy them to close this round out. rubino has been spotted. But that's a lovely shot on KZY. Chris J. Well, I say Chris J. It's actually Alu. They have two orbs this round. And Alu just explodes. He's got two. He's been dropped, though, from Rubino. And can we now see an epic clutch with just 10 HP? The answer is a resounding no. Partly pooper Chris J. Smashes him in the chest with an orb. Back to 12-12. This double AWP comp is very interesting and it's understandable as well on cash. Yeah, with the players, you know, just play to the strengths of the players. Um, why not? You've got Chris Ray and Alu. But uh, they're, they're going to stick on one AWP actually, so just Chris J opting to rock the big green. But Alu, I mean, <laughs> my god, can't he use it? What a fantastic hold over their quad boxes on A. Basically, single handedly locks down the site with that with that scope rifle so uh 12 12 is the score line we're all square very very tight game very interesting game london conspiracy let me remind you are on the harder side so they're doing a fairly good job keeping it so close in my opinion and of course my sports overall favorites in this matchup so let's see if they can get anything done on the eco they have done in the past but uh, so far so bad as Alu gets another one so three on five scenario london conspiracy this round it just seems a the core was kind of just trying to get some frags rather than going for a set strat like they have done in the past. They've gone very fast A and, you know, they've got the bomb planted or or maybe try rush B or something. This round, they've just gone for the picks and it certainly hasn't worked for them as Polly is the last man remaining. So expect to see 13-12 and, uh, yeah, really tight game. But Polly gets another one. Sorry, not another one, the only one. So only one frag going their way, not a great eco round. And actually, the money's still not that good. So are they going to buy? They are going to force it up. So no orbs will be in effect here. Um, let's see who's going to take the next round. I'd also like to bring the attention to Legia, who's 28 and 14. Top fragging <laughs> by a considerable margin by eight frags on his side. Five overall. Rubino's got 23 on the other side. So he is performing... Just sublime. He is doing such a good job right now. Fast push in from London Conspiracy. They've had enough of this slow stuff. They're going right for the jugular. And they're going to meet Alu with the M4 shot to the face. KZY is going to go back and get himself one as well. And Mouse Sports again get the upper hand. They get the advantage in these early exchanges. Skirk did not check his left hand side. And that cost him his life there from Tapson. Tapson's going to get his second. Tapson did spot another player there in the form of Rubino. Who is going to start pushing. And he will get the kill. 14 to 12. Fast push, economic downturn now for London Conspiracy. Things are not looking good. And just to put it in perspective, John, I've said before, Mouse Sports were the favourites. That's by 74% of you who voted for them on CSGO Lounge. You are good. You are good, aren't you? Tabbed out, got that info. I love it. Brilliant. Okay, so yeah, 74. You, you, you read me. You found me out. It's <laughs> what I normally do when you say it. I'm straight on the, the old tab, but brilliant information. And it kind of does sum up, yeah, what we're seeing here is uh, it's almost what was expected. And to be honest, I'm still baffled at uh, London Conspiracy picking Dust 2. I really think they would have had a better shot on Mirage, for instance. Uh, but hey-ho, they, they didn't. And here we are on the second map. Mouse Sports did take the first. So if they can uh, secure this round, then they'll just be one round away from proceeding into the final of the uh, CS Arena Championship. And they'll be facing off against Fnatic. And it's looking very likely. The bomb has been planted from LC, so that's a good... A good little uh, mini objective done that's going to give them money to buy, but it's, yeah, it's 
looking very bleak in terms of a round win. Chris J is going to get two CZ headshots. Very nice indeed from the Dutch player. And uh, yeah, Maspot's now with just one round to go. And they can uh, take a little break and come straight back and play Fnatic in the final. So they'll be feeling good right now. I'll be feeling very good. But on Conspiracy, they're not that far away. Yes, they're on the harder side. Only three rounds required. And CS so yes, is the kind of game where momentum plays a big part. That being said, though, look at Mouse's economy. They got a lot of money to play with. Soon, if they were to lose this, they'd be able to buy right back up again. Notice how London Conspiracy, like, okay, that fast push did not pay off for us. So we're going to go back to a slow one instead. But there's Tabson from B. And he will just smash down Max. Oh, four versus five again. Familiar territory right now for Mouse Sports. They normally hold these very well. Rubino indoor. He's going to try his luck with a flashbang and a smoke. They're not paying off. Tabson gets his second kill before falling to Rain. Rubino comes back and gets one of his own. He won't be getting the second on KZY. That was a pretty crucial frag in this round. So, Mouse Sports keep the player advantage. They are Jono, however, going to be going on to A. There's Legia. He's just one B. kill shy. B, sorry. He is just one kill shy of his 30 bomb. And he has two players <laughs> dead ahead of him. He's going to come through. He gets his 30. Can he finish off Polly? No. Polly orps him down. Close range stuff. He's still in the one versus two. And this is going to be such a difficult round for him to clutch out. He's being pushed from Chris, Chris J. And Chris gets the kill. 16 12, 2 to 0 overall. For mouse sports and as you said they will go on to face fanatic in our grand finale wow okay so they do it in two i was i was hoping for three of course as a cast then we want the best possible scenario like the most exciting matchup but uh if i were to if i were to have guessed the the result i would have probably agreed with you 2-0 and uh i mean 16 12 is about right 16 7 on dust 2 was also about right for me because it's mouse sports's map so once again, we have to dwell on the on the fact that London Conspiracy chose to play Dust Two. Hopefully, they will they will have that lesson learnt, and next time they'll play Mirage. Because from what I've seen of them, they're they're fairly good on Mirage. So uh, maybe a bit of missed decision um, in terms of their play on on Cash. It was a lot better, right? We can give them credit for that. They did seem like a lot more organised team. They were hitting a lot more shots, apart from a few players, I guess. But uh, we shouldn't really pick up on those things. I mean, as a team, they seem to be a lot better, um, and so. They can they can they can keep their heads held high because they did make it to the semi-finals. To be kicked out by Mouse Sports is not such a, a terrible thing, you know. It was uh, they weren't favourites coming into this, so they've done fairly well to get this far anyway. They're not going to win any money. Mouse Sports have uh, secured themselves uh, at least seven hundred and fifty dollars, though. As the first prize is one thousand seven hundred and fifty, and and as I just said, the second prize is seven hundred and fifty. So that is going to be played.